AFTV Marty, impressive today. 5 1 um, through to the next round against uh, Preston and some good performances. Fantastic. It was like watching Joshua and Dubois at a weekend. They got absolutely <laughs> spanked. And um, look, for me, you need to do that in these, these League Cup situations. It's great to see uh, an amazing mix of youth and, you know, starters, starters in our first team. Um, I think that Wanieri had an absolutely awesome game to come in and to play. Uh, you know, for me, I think he's got to start at the weekend against the Leicester. Well, you start him as well. I'm starting him straight away. We've li listen, listen, listen. So who do you leave out? Who do you leave out then? All right, give me your midfield. This is, this is, give me a midfield, midfield for playing, playing Leicester. Party, party, Rice, and um, Wanieri, and then up front. So you leave out front. Trossard. Yeah. Look, uh, okay, you want to go to the Trossard incident, incident personally at the weekend? That was a little bit naive, if I'm honest with you. Uh, Kicking I'm saying, the ball away. You're on the yellow card, you go clattering into a player. We've seen this before. Look, you, you just so don't. So you're do punishing that. him then for, for that? Yeah, 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 yeah I'm punishing him. Yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, yeah it's a, listen, Trossard's a fantastic player. I love him. I think he's amazing. But you're on a yellow card and you go flying into a player with 10 seconds left before um, the half time. All you need to do is just go out ride it out to half time and then it's 11 v 11 we win that game all day long we win that game and look Wanieri's come in scored two goals you, you, I say you can kind of afford we don't concede goals especially at home Leicester are not really scoring goals I, I think Jamie Vardy will have a pretty tough time against Gabriel and Saliba if that Reyes fit um, you've got Timber, the Calafiori, you know, Ben White the options it's a solid defence and then in midfield with Party and Rice and Wanieri, he, for me, he is that playmaker. When I watched him tonight, the way he picks up the ball, he looks like a baller. He looks like a professional football player. The way he moves on the ball, the way even down to his haircut, he just looks like... <laughs> no, seriously, I was looking at this guy and just thinking, mate, you just fit into this team. You know, some of the look, mm. some of the other players, you just think, mm, you've, got a, you've got a while to go. The keeper does look young. He done, he done amazingly. Mm. You know, and he got crunched early doors by their centre forward with a, with a nasty challenge. And he rode that out. Um, and you know, but he just looks like he fits into this team, and we've we've seen him we've seen him come out a few times, and I'm I'm really excited to see him play. And I, I you know I think it's the ideal option for Odegaard. Also, I think Saka down the right hand side, you know, you know he gets exhausted. He's a, such an amazing option for the right hand side. I think he's a versatile player, and that's what Arteta is doing at the moment with these players. Is they play in they're, they're versatile players. They play in a multitude of positions, and they play them really well. Yep. Preston in the next round. How much do you want to win this competition? Yeah, of course. Last time we won it was in 1993. And I remember watching that as a kid. And, um, you know, it is, you know, people laugh and joke. Any, you know, any trophy, we're not talking about, you know, uh, you know, sort of an Emirates Cup trophy. This is a, this is a legitimate trophy. And, you know, in, in 87, I think we won it as well. And that started this run of winning trophies because we were in a wilderness, I think, since the 70s without really winning anything. And and, and then we, we went on this run. Then we had, obviously, that game at Anfield and, we you know, the 1991. And, and the list, go, list goes on. And again, I've heard it, I've heard it said, you, you tell the, the players, the Tony Adams is the key owns, etc. All own players, it's not a legit George Graham. You know, I, I remember watching Arsenal win this and I remember that double winning season when they won the FA Cup and the League Cup and look it's it's I'd love to win this competition I'd love to you know win a trophy it is our time to win stuff and the reason why when you look at your you're bringing in players like Jorginho for that we, we have got that B side that you, you you know don't forget we've got Champions League games we've got FA Cup games we've got Premier League games the games are going to start coming thick and fast especially at this Christmas period where it's just an intense fixture pile up you do need depth and you need quality in depth it's not just a case of just having some players that you can bang on you know because you, you, you'll get ousted in competitions then when you're bringing Kai Havertz on after 70 odd minutes you know and you know and, and Raheem Sterling as well, scoring his, his first goal, his debut goal for Arsenal at home in front of the crowd. The crowd loved that. You know, Kai Havertz scoring a goal um, at 3-0. I, I, what I loved was Rice, how quickly he reacted. I think we were two, it was 2-0 and uh, they, they, they tried to play out from the back. And playing out from the back works, but Bolton, you're at the Emirates, you're playing against Arsenal, you're in front of players like that. They played out, they got caught out. Rice was lightning quick onto that ball, puts it in, Ran Ranieri scores his goal. Then it's 3-0, 3-0. Then they went down the other end, mis you know, mistake. They scored one and 
credit to Arsenal, we went and got those two goals and we just put them to bed and finished them off. And that was it. And I remember years ago, Bolton Wanderers, the hurt and the pain they caused us mm. when we used to go there and they used to come here and you'd get Kevin Nolan jumping up and <laughs> manhandling <laughs> our players. Saying. Now that's a bit of payback, you know, and, and where they're at, they're in league. I think they're 17th in league one, I believe, mm. you know, so they, they come here and they got, they got a lesson in football.